Good morning, Britain. It has been a night to remember for UKIP. We are proving that UKIP is now not just taking Conservative votes, but taking votes from Labour as well. Nigel Farage's party have made a massive breakthrough in the local elections with the Lib Dems, the big losers. Hundreds of British tourists have spent their first night under a curfew in Thailand. So Paul McCartney's in hospital after contracting a mystery virus in Japan. And too busy to teach your child to ride a bike? Why not hire a coach like the Americans, forking out $125 an hour? Friday, 23rd of May, 2014, live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. I'm Ben Shepherd. Has the face of British politics changed forever? The local election results are coming in. Uh, we will, of course, bring you developments and get a full reaction from all the main parties throughout this morning's programme. And also this morning, news of one very brave man who upstaged his bride at their wedding. I'm Charlotte Hawkins, and take a look at Daniel the Groom demonstrating his spectacular ball wow. skills while walking down the aisle. But was his bride, Kelly, impressed? We'll be meeting them soon to find out. Is that his bride, Kelly? Uh, good morning, I'm Sean Fletcher. It's billed uh, as the most lucrative game in football. Derby County take on Queen's Park Rangers tomorrow for a place in the Premier League. The winner also nets £62 million. But what about the weather? The bank holiday weekend is just around the corner. Good morning to you. I'm Ranveer Singh. So far this week, we've had sunshine and really dramatic uh, thunderstorms yesterday. Laura, how's it looking? Unsurprisingly, Bank Holiday Weekend is looking wet. Brilliant. <laughs> Which is usually how it looks. But the weather will improve. We have pretty much business as usual as we start our weekend with showers for many of us. Saturday will be a bit of a washout as the band of rain spreads north. But it is Sunday and Monday that the weather improves. So there is a little light at the end of the tunnel. More with a bit more detail with me in 15 minutes. So our top story this morning, UKIP...